Good morning. Just want to make a quick announcement today. Um, we have uh, got news yesterday at 3.10 p.m. that uh, Taysir Mack, as you guys know, was here in the spring and, and did some great things uh, for us. Uh, but at 3.10 yesterday, got a, just one of the best text messages you can get of the year saying that Taysir is immediately eligible to play for the University of Pittsburgh. So it's a great thing. Um, last night I told our football team and, and they erupted a little bit, a little enthusiasm in the, in the team room, so we had a little little action going on, but, uh, you know, this didn't happen all, you know, by itself. You know, a couple of people I'd like to thank is, you know, Dustin Gray, number one, uh, for all the hard work he put in, as well as, you know, Chris Lasala, um, you know, obviously Taysir and his mom. Um, but another guy, you know, Tom Allen, the head football coach at Indiana, really helped out with the situation. When you talk about caring for kids, you know, my hat goes off to that guy for doing the right thing and helping out, you know, just, you know, something. Again, we're not going to get into specifics about why, what, doesn't matter, nothing matters. The important thing is, that he's able to play right now, and, uh, and you know we're excited. It just gives us one more extra uh, weapon, you might say, to, uh, to help us get it done. So uh, with that, I'm gonna leave it open for questions. Maybe for Tace here. I mean, for both of you guys, you know, was there a point this summer where you thought zero percent chance, it's over, it's done, pretty much giving up hope on this happening? Uh, no, I mean something that uh, they always remind me everything. All you need is a little bit of hope. That's why I just carry that over until work ethic. I have a bunch of friends around me, a bunch of coaches around me that support me day in and day out. Regardless if I could play or not, they was with me as a person and they cared for me individually. So it, it took me a long way. Tessier, so how did you approach this training camp for you knowing that you were kind of in limbo? Yeah, bigger, faster, stronger. I mean, I just wanted to be more mentally sharp for the game. And then I was always told, be ready. So you don't ever have to get ready when the opportunity comes. You surprised that yesterday was the day. Either one of you, I mean, you said you got a text message to come out of nowhere. Or? Uh, kind of came out of nowhere. We kind of were just waiting to get all the information in, and, and then you know we kind of at least Tace here told me now he, this guy's been wearing me out, text messaging all summer, shooting me emails about why is this guy eligible? How about me? And we've worked. I mean, like I said, this didn't happen in a week. There was a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work um, by you know by Dustin and Chris Sal just you know working on this you know. On, you know, getting all our ducks in a row to make sure when we did go with the waiver that it was done properly. It wasn't like, well, we need this, give us this. And there's a lot of stuff that the NCAA wants to get a waiver. And so we got them all the information they needed, and um, you know, it's a, it's a it's a great day. Were you noticing? I mean, like I, I noticed in the news, you know, this guy goes transfers and he's playing right away. This he was guy's noticing. playing right away. For you. It was noticed. Were you taking I, notice of all those I think things? he found out before I did. He was emailing me. He was all over that. Yeah, every time I see someone who's eligible, I text coach and it's like, all right, cool. This is looking good for us. So I'm like, it's going to happen soon enough. He kept telling me, this is good news. This is good news. More people getting eligible. So I'm like, all right, just be patient. Stay down. Say, it's going to happen. Relax. And I eventually did. Yeah, how does this change your the outlook for your offense and your receiving court? You know, time will tell. I mean, we're not going to annoy anybody, you know, uh, you know, any starting job, he's got a lot of work to do. It just gives, you know, like I said, it's another weapon. I mean, it's, it, it makes us a little bit different. Um, if we go back to what it was in spring ball and just look at where he was there, I mean, he was really our, our go-to guy. Uh, so we expect to, to get to that here in the next couple of weeks. For the past two weeks, though, I mean, have you been able to get him reps with Kenny and Ricky, or has he been mostly been working with? He's gotten with reps Nick all summer, um, so he'll, he'll be he'll be he'll be ready. Anything else for these gentlemen before we uh, head out for practice? I did what I mean. Ask you on a different topic. I think you've got a couple of open scholarships. Are you getting? You know, have you made any decisions on maybe what to use with some of those? Or? No, I don't know how you guys get your scholarship numbers. You guys confuse me. But uh, you know, you we'll, have two we'll, we'll make that work. I don't know how many we have. But I don't look into that. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll just we're playing ball. And we're worried about today. We'll worry about that later on.